Hey guys, just a really quick one today. So I've had a few people ask me how to play Counter-Strike Go on the new M1 Max. So I thought I'd make a video showing you how to do that and also just showing you some gameplay footage and giving you a rough idea of what kind of FPS you can expect from the game. Now bear in mind, it is still early stages, so the game isn't gonna run as well as it will when it's optimized, but as it is now, it is definitely playable. Now just quickly, I do have an external drive here. It's a two terabyte M.2 SSD, and I've installed all of my Steam games to this drive. You don't need to have your games installed to an external hard drive. It's just that I've only got the 256 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air. This is the base model MacBook Air, by the way, and it's not quite enough room to install lots of games. So for this particular video, I'm running all my games off a external drive. I will have a link up in the top right hand corner if you want to check that video out. So to get started, just make sure your Mac is as up to date as possible, preferably 11.2, which is the most up to date version of Mac OS. And the next thing you wanna do is obviously install Steam. Now, some people have had issues where if they open up Counter-Strike, it doesn't load properly and they can't click on anything. So what I'll do first of all is I'll show you guys two methods to fix that issue. So the first one is just simply plugging in an external monitor and launching the game. And once you've got the Mac plugged into your external monitor, literally all you wanna do is hit the play button and you'll see that the actual game starts up fine. So as you can see there, we are on the menu. I can click on all of this stuff, no issues. We can go into the audio settings and the video settings. So that works totally fine. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how to get Counter-Strike working if you don't have an external monitor. Okay, so on Steam, you wanna go into your library and you want to right click on the Counter-Strike game. You wanna go properties and you want to copy and paste the following launch option here. So you wanna copy this, I'll have this in the description. So just literally copy and paste it and pop it in here to a particular resolution and aspect ratio that will allow you to actually use it and click so we'll exit this dialog box and we'll hit play. And as you can see there, it is opened up and I can click on stuff. So let's go back into the settings and let's actually change this to a better aspect ratio. So let's change this to widescreen 16 by 10 and we'll change the resolution to the full available Mac resolution, which is 2560 by 1600. And we're gonna click apply changes. And you can see there that looks a lot better. So everything looks sharp and much better quality. And if we come down here, you can see the settings I'm using. So I have pretty much everything either switched off or set to medium. So what we'll do now is we'll jump into a game with some bots and we'll see what kind of FPS we are getting. Okay, so as you can see right now, it definitely is playing, but there are some dropped frames. We are getting around 45 to 50 FPS, uh, which obviously is not great at all. Um, but again, like this is still running on Rosetta 2. So this isn't a native Mac app and it hasn't been optimized at all, uh, but it is still very playable. Even though this game isn't exactly the most resource intensive game on the planet, uh, it still seems like it is still struggling um, on Mac OS on the M1 chip. So it just needs to be optimized and I think it'll be much better. Okay, it looks like we're sitting at a solid 45 to 50 FPS. Uh, and in most areas, we'll actually get up to around 60 FPS. So that's definitely good. So what I'll do now is I'll actually quickly change the settings and we'll see if we can squeeze a few more frames out by dropping the resolution. So if we come into the video advanced section and we come up the top and we change the resolution to the max version of 1080p. And we hit apply. So now that we've changed the settings, we are getting a very solid 60 to 70 FPS. It will dip in some areas. I'm still getting some dropped frames, but again, that's just because this is not optimized at all. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna be commenting saying, you know, if you want to play games, get a PC, or this is a really easy game to play. Why is the Mac struggling? Guys, again, this is still early days. Most games won't even run on Mac OS. And even though this particular game is obviously a couple of years old, and it is quite easy to play for most entry-level computers, we are on a completely different version of Silicon. So it's still very, very early days. Most people aren't gonna be playing, you know, AAA titles on the Mac anyway. You know, this is an entry-level MacBook. So you're not gonna be playing the latest Call of Duty game or anything like that. 
Um, but these older games like the old Dooms and also obviously Counter-Strike and perhaps Fortnite, totally fine, you're gonna have no issues. It's just a matter of time of waiting until the actual developers of those games update them for the M1 Max. Anyway guys, just a really short one today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any issues or questions or problems launching up CSGO on your own M1 Mac, do leave a comment down below. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.